Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. You may know that I have gotten a bunch of free picture frames at the dump this year. So I decided to show you 12 ways to use different kinds of frames. This first one was part mirror, part picture of some little raccoons in some uh, wood. And I decided to keep the mirror portion. So I taped that off and I taped off the... Um, the wooden part so that I could take my black chalked paint and go ahead and give that a nice coat so that that would change the look entirely of this piece. And once that was fully dry, I went ahead and removed the tape on the edges and I cleaned the glass and I cleaned the mirror and then I took out my white wax and a nice brush and waxed the entire wooden black portion of the frame. Once that was completely covered with the wax, I let that dry for a couple of minutes and then I wiped it back with a rag until it just filled in the crevices and I already loved the way it looks. And then I pulled out a piece of paper I got from Hobby Lobby that looks like shiplap or barn board and my stays on ink and my IOD farm yard animal stamps. And I went ahead and stamped the cow onto that barnyard paper, cut it out and put it in. And here it is. And I think it came out so cute. What a great transformation here on this first frame. If you're lucky enough to get one that's partially mirror, give it a try. Now we are on to the second project. This is just a typical frame, again, came from the dump. And so I um, went ahead with this one since it had no glass and no backing. And I started by um, giving it a coat of paint. It was already a green kind of color, but I wanted it a little purer green. So I went ahead and um, painted that with the green. Again, taking the white wax once that green was dry. Actually, in this case, I used the dark antique wax over the green. Did the same thing, covered the entire thing with the wax, let it wait, you know, a couple minutes. Wipe it back with a rag so that you get a little bit of that more antique -y look and not like it's freshly painted. Then I just simply took a ribbon and a wreath, hung it in the middle. You've probably seen these before. Here's another look at something similar, just a blue frame and a different wreath. And another one, this is just a couple bonuses for you for how to just hang a wreath. And then you can also do the same thing on a mirror. If you have a mirror in a nice, in a nice wreath, just hang them together. So now we are on to project number three. This is just a small, coastal farmhouse frame in a white rope, uh, nautical looking. So I took out the nautical blue colored paint and I went ahead and painted that just to make that pop. Um, I thought the white was kind of blah. Excuse this traffic. There's so much traffic today. I went ahead and uh, once that was done, wet to stress that a little bit. And then that wasn't enough for me. So I took a little bit more of the white wax like I had done previously and just wanted really to see some of that rope pop off. So then took a rag and wiped it back. Same process as the others. But this time I wanted to print something on photo paper. So I went ahead and I found something online that I liked. I looked through my scrap paper to see if I had anything that might complement the colors. And I used that scrap of paper as a mat and framed out the photo paper, put it back in the glass and frame that out. So anybody with a printer can do that. Now it looks a lot more nautical, a little more farmhouse fun. So that's cute. And we'll move on to project number four. Now this time I had this beautiful frame from the dump, worse for wear. So I cleaned it up really good. And then once it was clean, I have this blue color um, folk art paint that is a little bit bright blue. So I 
thought it would be fun to see how the white wax looks over this. So I went ahead and used two different blues, one more of an aqua color, so that I would have the interior in an aqua blue and the exterior of the frame in the darker blue, and then covered all of it with the white wax. And then I went ahead and um, pulled out this transfer called Postal Birds that I have used in the past, but I had this beautiful blue bird that I thought might look so lovely. So this is using a transfer on glass. You can use transfers on wood and many other items. A lot of people you'll see do it on furniture, but I wanted to do it on the glass. So I went ahead using the tool, rub it on, peel it back until I got um, that the way that I liked it and then decided to use that same scrapbook paper and use that as the background or the mat inside my picture frame so that it would complement the colors of blue and also make the bird look a little bit 3D. So here it is finished and this one really came out so nice. I think you can see the two-tone blue. And uh, I really, really like this one. So on to project number five. This was an already a nautical frame. I did not uh, uh, do anything to the frame, but I decided to take some chicken wire and some different scrapbook papers that looked real beachy. So something like sky and something like, like the stones you might see at a beach. And I went through my stash and found a bunch of seashells, cut the two pieces and framed them in the back and then hot glued a piece of chicken wire to the back inside where it would be hidden. And I created like a basket out of the chicken wire and then took my shells and I went ahead and in the in the seahorse, I mean, it's not the seahorse, star, starfish, and I filled that up and then it was a little plain so I grabbed some white nautical rope that I had gotten from the dollar store, I believe, and I wrapped it in and around that basket and I thought that came out so cute. If I can find a little kite or something, I'm gonna put it in the sky. I think it'll be adorable. So now we are on to number six, and I used that same idea, chicken wire, over a stamped matted picture. I didn't go through the process with you. You get the picture. <laughs> so use chicken wire if you have it. And now we are on to number seven. Now here is a mirror that looks like a window and I have had this for a while and decided to use those postal birds and do a similar thing that I did on glass, but this time to do it on a mirror. So any picture frame with a mirror or glass can be used. And this time I wanted to use the transfer up over the wood section in the middle so it didn't have to be cut or broken. And that worked out okay. You just have to be very gentle not to tear it. And so here it is. It's hard not to show you everything in the background uh, since it is a mirror, but I think it came out really beautiful. Um, so you could add a mirror to a picture frame and do this if you don't have a mirror already in your picture frame. Here it is upside down. <laughs> And so that brings us to number eight. And some of these are going to get a little more creative now. This was an old dumpy white half painted frame um, that I went ahead and painted brown. And uh, once that brown color was dry, I wanted to take the white wax and go ahead and do the same procedure I had done for some of those other waxed pieces to bring out the uh, decoration on the frame. It just really um, makes that stand out and it looks a lot nicer that way. Now this time I wanted to use some drop cloth fabric that I had and so I cut a piece and then I found some of the I see Paris IOD stamps and then this Tim Holtz distressed oxide color um, ink and then um, 
with the fabric, I needed to adhere that since uh, I needed to adhere it to the uh, back with a spray glue. So I went ahead and glued the fabric right on with that onto the back of the picture frame and then took my scissors and trimmed that so that it would be completely square. And then I went ahead and inked that with the brown sepia color and I love the way that stamps on this drop cloth fabric and framed it up and this one is so cute and I think looks adorable with some of the items I had made in an earlier flip. So that takes us on to the next project. Oh, here it is with uh, the picture that I stamped as well. To taking us on to number nine. Now, this I did not, I just simply framed cardboard with burlap behind a picture frame and then stuck a bunch of pins and other things that I love in my craft room. And that's simple, easy peasy. Piece of cardboard, piece of burlap, frame it up. Moving on to number 10. And this is simply if you have a lot of little frames and you want to make larger frames, you're going to go ahead and staple um, either some scrap wood or some paint sticks or something and then go ahead and flip it around so that you have a collage of frames. Now, if you stuck with me this long, I'm grateful. Thank you. 11 and 12 are my favorite. <laughs> Save the best for last. So number 11, I had this beautiful green frame and I took some of the watered down Waverly wax and went ahead and um, used it as a stain on just a piece of wood. And then I framed that with the frame that had no glass and went through my lace and my fabrics and I started to pull out a few things that I thought would complement one another, gluing the fabric pieces to the wood to make, this is like a drop cloth, but to use it like a pocket on the wood. And then with my hot glue gun, I went ahead and I took some of the lace trim and some pretty embellishments that I had in my sewing um, memorabilia, whatever you call it, paraphernalia. <laughs> and I, and I went ahead and glued these things on to these pocket like, um, pieces of fabric because I thought this would be really cute in my craft room. I used some E6000 to get that whole thing in there together so that it would be more of a permanent hold. And then I went through my buttons and scraps and other things to just put a few more embellishments on that and then put it in my craft room. And so here it is. And I just absolutely love the way this came out. And then I tucked some tissue and some trans furs in here for you to get a, a feel for some things that you might be able to do with something like that. It would be so cute with cards if you collect cards that people sent you or recipes. I mean, you, there's so many things you could do with it. Put it in an office for your mail. I think it's adorable. And then number 12, I think might just be my favorite. This is a gorgeous frame that I had that is a solid wood frame that never had a glass or a backing. So my husband cut me a piece of thin Luan plywood and I put that in the frame, decided it was too light for the frame. I thought maybe it could use a little bit more of a stain. So I went ahead using that a Waverly um, wax and gave that a coat put it upside down, glued it in, still did not love the color. So I took out my white chalked paint and I dry brushed the interior. Then using those postal board bird transfers, I went ahead and I applied some with a peachy color that I thought complemented the color in the wood. And I think already it came out adorable but it is going to be a tray, so I needed to polyurethane that. And then I have waited for the last two weeks to put out this video because I didn't have the hardware for handles, which I just so happened to get today at the dump on an ugly piece of cabinet somebody left behind. So we're gonna put that together for handles and make this adorable tray, which I love, love, love. Now. In my month and a half of making this video, <laughs> I happened to notice last week, I think it was, that Sherry from 
Canterbury Cottage also put out a video of many ways to use picture frames. So she has many more creative ways. If you want to check that out as well, she does a phenomenal job and that might give you some inspiration. And I think between the two of us, hopefully if you've come up with some picture frames of your own, you can get creative. And I would love a comment as to which of these were your favorite. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Take care.